Hey gang, let's take a quick look at the 11 o'clock situation uh, in the 5.2 meeting engagement or uh, meeting action. Uh, it's interesting when I was reading back on the history uh, here, uh, some of the Wikipedia articles were referring to three battalions from uh, the 1st Marine Division and in this scenario actually brings us uh, four uh, battalions, I believe. At least four, actually. Um, let me just check that. Yeah, 7th seventh, uh, seventh Marine has two battalions, and uh, the 3-5 has... Um, well, there's the 3-5, sorry, and there's also uh, a second... Is that right? Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, I'm sorry, there's second battalion, third battalion, and uh, so that's four, and then there's uh, the, uh, the the one, three, uh, the first marine, uh, third battalion as well, uh, which is off uh, in the distance there, you can't see it. Anyway, update. So, uh, four turns in, have a little bit of fun, the usual story. Uh, Japanese are, are moving uh, according to their plan, so at the end of this, we haven't done the wrap-up. I've got to try and take that off uh, yet for the turn. Uh, the Japanese are going to have to uh, declare success on their op sheet here, and actually just about here as well, they're almost done, uh, because that was their, in parentheses, their attack, right? They were moving to acquire that uh, terrain. So uh, that's where the fun and games will begin and some of the restrictions will fall into place for the Japanese in terms of their ability to react because they're going to have to uh, uh, try and create a new op sheet, which with their command rating is going to be difficult. Uh, most of the action, uh, bar one horrible incident, has occurred over here. Uh, there, were, there was a full company here. There's now just one partial platoon with two steps left in it, but they have exacted a mighty toll uh, upon uh, the 3-5 here. They have just beat on these guys. These dudes here are suppressed. They've lost a step. These guys have lost two steps. These guys have lost steps here. You can see how tall the pile is, so every counter has taken a step loss there as well. Uh, extraordinarily bad rolling. I'll put it down to that. Uh, a couple of 11s for the, uh, for the Americans, for the Marines, uh, when they were rolling, which are basically whiffs, and then a couple of 65s for the Japanese when they were shooting, uh, and, and, and taking shots that I wouldn't even normally roll for because it's just the chances of hitting anything were so low. And I just, one time I just went, oh, okay, and it was, uh, I think, seven factors, and you know, got a couple of pluses, so it popped it up into a medium sort of attack level. <laughs> and rolled a 65, and that was a step loss, and it just went there. They failed their uh, they failed their morale check and rolled a 65 on that, so it was an SYR, save yourself, but Marines convert to uh, suppressions. Just a disaster over there. But the funny thing is, I thought I'd be really clever and just bomb the absolute daylights out of this and do a fast fire, full battalion uh, barrage on the log bridge and just nail all these guys who were a little bit further back uh, than they are now. Well, of course, it scatters, right? And it scatters right into my scouts. Uh, I've taken uh, step loss here, step loss there, step loss here, step loss here. I had two groups uh, of units uh, three groups of units suppressed. Just a disaster. So, as usual, I found myself rushing into the game. And uh, while this game does go until 2300, it's interesting uh, that Marines are going to have to basically dig in for the night once we turn to night. And that means we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six turns of dark where the Marines have to hold their positions where they are. So that basically means then that the Marines have to achieve their objectives of clearing this road and uh, taking Mantanakau uh, uh, by uh, 
1740 by 540 p.m. That's uh, that's a pretty tall order. You know, there's a lot of stuff to get through here. Uh, with the movement uh, I've done uh, for these guys, the 29-2 uh, Second Division, we we put this 29th Regiment. We're moving them into here and uh, setting up the infantry guns with a machine gun, the, the regimental machine guns and one platoon in each hex. And that, they're making really nice little fire groups there. So I think they'll be fairly powerful uh, and probably will hold pretty well. And then uh, I'm building a kind of a, a second line here with uh, just the anti-tank guns. Uh, and I've got one platoon in reserve. So, that's kind of the status for the time being for the first hour of the game. Pretty heavy losses. Uh, two platoons in a machine gun section out for the Japanese and uh, a swag bag of uh, step losses for all of the all of the marine units over here and a bunch over here because of this inadvertent scattering of uh, fire. So we're gonna, f we're, gonna, we're gonna relieve the 11th Regiment artillery officers uh, from duty. All right guys, later on.